Okay, you're going to show you from the Bible that sola scriptura is a biblical concept and that the Roman Catholics are in violation of the numerous warnings in scripture about not adding to or taking away from the word of God. Okay? Roman Catholicism, they've added their pagan man-made traditions into the Bible and claiming, oh, they're revealed by God. Okay, we're going to see about that because the common verse people run to is Revelation 22 verses 18 and 19, which is a valid verse. But the Catholics will say, well, that verse is just for not adding to Revelation. Well, we're going to see that there are other verses in the Bible, all throughout the Bible, that warn about not adding to the Word of God. Okay, so this, isn't, this is not just a warning about Revelation. Okay, so let's get right into this. Deuteronomy chapter 4 and verse 2. You shall not add unto the word which I command you, neither shall you diminish aught from it, that you may keep the commandments of the Lord your God which I command you. So you're not supposed to add to or diminish from the word of God, from the commandments that God gave. Okay, next verse, Deuteronomy chapter 12, verse 32. Whatsoever thing I command you, observe, observe to do it, thou shalt not add thereto, nor diminish from it. So, if we're going to follow Catholic logic, the book of Revelation, the warnings about not adding to the word of God are only for the book of Revelation, so I guess this is only for the book of Deuteronomy. If we're going to follow the Catholic logic, which is obviously ridiculous. Proverbs chapter 30, verses 5 to 6. Every word of God is pure. He is a shield unto them that put their trust in him. Add thou not unto his words, lest he reprove thee, and thou be found a liar. You're not supposed to add to the word of God. If you do, you're found a liar. That's simple. Jeremiah chapter 26, verse 2. Sorry, some sounds going on in the background. Thus saith the Lord, stand in the court of the Lord's house, and speak unto all the cities of Judah, which come to worship in the Lord's house, all the words that I command thee to speak unto them, diminish not a word. This is also good verses to use not just against Roman Catholicism, but their corrupted Bible translations like the NIV, the ESV, the Dewey Reams, all this stuff. They're adding to and taking away from the word of God. But you're not supposed to diminish a word from God's commandments. That's simple. Roman Catholicism is guilty of adding to and taking away from the Word of God. Now, of course, the, the popular one, Revelation 22, verses 18 and 19. For I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book, if any man shall add unto these things, God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. And if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, God shall take away his part out of the book of life and out of the holy, holy city and from the things which are written in this book. Now the Catholics still say, well, it's saying this book referring to Revelation. Well, again, what about the other verses I showed you in Deuteronomy, Proverbs, and Jeremiah? So if we're going to follow Catholic logic, then that means we can't, that means that the warnings are only for Deuteronomy, Proverbs, and Jeremiah as well, not for the whole Bible which is ridiculous. You're not supposed to add to and take away from the Word of God. And Roman Catholicism is added to and taken away from the Word of God. The Roman Catholic Church is an abominable and pagan perversion of the faith once delivered unto the saints, Jude 1.3. It's a pagan perversion of the Christian faith. Okay? Roman Catholicism has added man-made traditions to the Word of God and claiming, oh, you know, the God revealed this to us, God, you know, in papal bowls and church councils and stuff. No, all you need is the Bible. 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16 to 17 shows that Scripture is all you need. Scripture is sufficient for, for doctrine, for instruction and in righteousness. Okay? You don't need anything else but Scripture. So don't be deceived by Roman Catholicism. They've added pagan man-made traditions and claim they're of the Lord. No, they're not. They're pagan. They got it from the pagan Roman Empire. They got it from the pagan Greek Empire, the Babylonians, all that stuff. Roman Catholicism is pagan. It is a pagan Greco-Roman religion masquerading as Christianity. So don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.